Sometimes you just have to skip a lecture to actually learn something. And I know that sounds backwards, but just hear me out for a second. Hi, I'm Yamika, and this is a day in my life as a Master of Data Science student at the University of Canterbury in New Zealand. I got out of bed at 6.30 after curling up in every possible position and telling myself five more minutes at least five times. My flatmates had not yet woken up, so I had the whole kitchen to myself. I enjoyed the sunrise from the fire exit. It was a chilly morning, so I drank a cup of hot water by my window. I love having moments like these before I start my chaotic day. I had my breakfast, packed my lunch, made a to-do list for the day and left for my lecture, which was from 9 to 11. I got a snack and then I had my second lecture from 1 to 2. And that was a lot of information. So I went to the postgrad lab for some self-study, got in a state of flow and lost track of time and ended up skipping my four to six lecture. Sometimes classes can feel like a massive info dump and if you don't take the time to absorb it, all of the future lectures will fly over your head. So I ensure that I fill all of my knowledge gaps as soon as possible. And sometimes that means skipping the less important classes to solidify my concepts. At 6 p.m. I went to the Christian Union meeting. I joined this club to understand the philosophy and teachings of Christianity. And this is a great space to connect with other people and to reflect on life. We finished around 7.30. The sun was still out because it's October and summer is coming to New Zealand, finally. I went back to the postgrad lab and studied till 10 p.m. When I study, it's not in a straight line. I tend to go down rabbit holes. I start with one topic, then something else catches my interest, so I go down that path. I just connect the dots like that and in the end it all comes together and makes sense and everything fits and every topic has a place. So like I just follow my curiosity kind of like how you would follow hyperlinks on a web page and I've always got multiple tabs open in my brain. And this is something I just can't do in a lecture because lectures are linear and they don't answer the random questions that come up in my head. And that's why self-study is so important because I need to give my brain the freedom to go wherever it wants because that's how my brain learns best and that is why